Good morning. How's everyone doing? So, my name is Piers Ridyard, and I am the CEO of Radix. So, what is Radix? Simply put, we are a new protocol, um, a scalable platform for building and deploying decentralized applications, tokens, assets, and coins. Now, that's a little bit dry, so I'm going to break that down instead via our mission. Our mission is to give anyone, anywhere, friction-free access to the digital economy. So what does that mean? Anyone, anywhere means that our protocol must be accessible universally. If you have an internet connection, even if it's a bad one, you should be able to connect to our network without worrying. We do that by making our algorithms as efficient as possible. We do not use proof of work. We do not use proof of stake. We do not use any sort of delegated consensus. Instead, we use a new algorithm that we developed that is fault detecting rather than fault tolerant. This means that our network will remain completely fully decentralized and that you can run a full Redux node on something as simple as a Raspberry Pi. Friction free access. The best description I've ever seen for cryptocurrencies is money over IP. In the old days, we used to have the telecoms companies, and the telco companies owned the copper wires that went between us, and they were oligopolies and monopolies. And we used to pay two pounds a minute to call Australia and other countries abroad. It's now free. Voice over IP revolutionized the world for communication. Money over IP will revolutionize the world for the ownership and transfer of capital. We see that fundamentally as the promise of decentralized ledger technology, right? There's the vision that started with Satoshi Nakamoto, but it sort of hit some roadblocks along the way. A couple of those really being scalability. If you don't have a protocol that can scale to everyone in the world, then you can't deliver on that vision. And right now, it costs 10 pounds to send a transaction across the Bitcoin blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain is overrun by CryptoKitties. And you see people standing up here and saying, we're going to deliver, we're going to build something on an ERC-20 token. But if the ERC-20 token of Ethereum is completely full, then no one can use those applications. Even the new protocols that are promising millions of transactions per second have a problem in that they are still capped. To truly deliver on that protocol promise, your scalability has to be unbound. And that's what Radix does. You add an additional node to the network, you increase the throughput of the network without an upper limit. That is the only way to achieve friction-free access. And the last part is access to the digital economy, as apart from the cash economy. And the digital economy is still a place where privilege is a requirement to access it. It is a privilege to have a bank account. It is a privilege to be able to buy stocks. It's a privilege to be able to buy insurance. It's a privilege even to shop online. And millions, if not billions of people, do not have that privilege at the moment. For us, Radix is a platform to make that privilege accessible to everyone, to provide a way for developers from anywhere to access everyone anywhere and provide those services in a way that means that anyone can access them. And this isn't a hypothetical vision. We're not standing here and saying that we have a white paper, give us some money and we'll deliver you some technology in the future. Six years in the making, our test network is already live. This is a screenshot from this morning on our public network, uh, over 10,000 transactions per second. And that's only across 10 nodes. And these aren't some kind of supercomputers. These are standard servers that you would get on AWS or Azure. Over the next few months, we'll be increasing that steadily. So please go to our website, www.radxdlt.com, and sign up for our mailing list and help us realize our mission. Thank you very much.